See, what y'all don't know, or y'all must have forgot, like Roy Jones, is I got videos with major heavy hitters, you heard? Tony Ayo. You heard? Conway. Conway, I'm sorry. West Side Gun, I'm sorry. I don't want to hear nothing else about it. You heard? Watch my video with Jada Kiss. Swag on Pluto. Fire. MTV action was on that. You heard? Watch my video with Jim Jones. MTV action was on that. Y'all got to do the history on the kid LAZ. You heard? If you need them rap collabs, get at me, bro. I got you for the low. You heard? Yo, and make sure y'all go to genpop.store and get that merch. You heard? That's genpop.store. We got a little bit of everything. And for y'all dudes out there, that's my size, but be wanting a 5 and 6X, bro, this ain't a cash money records video shoot. You heard it's 2022. You heard? Slim that up, bro. I managed to work my way next to him and Mojo with the pussy book. I waited till he got to a good page. He let me get right beside him and lean down and say, let me see, like I was reaching for the book. I Super Mario uppercutted this nigga. His head went to the moon. It was a fleet of them niggas coming from Far Rockaway. My man Die Hard, he's still out there right now. He a legendary nigga. His, his knuckle game ain't shot wells in them status. But his shit is, his heart is crazy. That nigga's a lion. And I love that nigga, that nigga's, he get busy too. But, uh, <clears throat> my nigga Bezo, all them names I shot. Bezo is a nigga, he came home, he started the security shit. Bezo, Bezo had some money and he started some security shit. He was telling me that he was gonna do it, and he did it. So son's superficial too, he got cut in Mart 8 when, we was, when I left and shit. Nigga cut him in his sleep. What you were saying about Pac-Man? Yeah. Oh, the nigga Pac-Man is Shawell's brother. How I met him is one day we was in a commissary. Hold on, hold on. Ain't them niggas twins? They supposed to be, but they don't they look twins. alike. But I would have heard that him and Pac-Man was twins. But I... I, I Feel them being brothers is for sure. I can see it. Cause they both get a different kind of busy. The nigga, uh, the nigga Pac-Man. Pac-Man is one of the biggest stick-up kids, period. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Now, now, some might not don't even remember me, but how I know him is cause I was around South Wells and he robbed the commissary. He came in. And that nigga made an announcement. He did this, I guess call them niggas the announcement brothers. <laughs> he came in the uh shit. And that nigga was like, yo, whoever I just got out the box, as if that was everybody's problem. He was like, I don't got nothing. Whoever don't put uh nothing in this bag, I'm rubbing their fucking face off. Think it's a game. He like, I'ma go to line and line to each of you niggas. He was like, don't put something in this bag. <laughs> he got my attention. You know, any nigga, your shit, my ears hit the ceiling. Boom, that's some serious business. This man took, that's some serious shit. You ain't never seen a nigga come up on 50 fucking dudes. Not 50, cause you know, the room only hold half the house. They take half the house. <laughs> So uh, reasonably, we could say 25 people, and that's still a lot. That's still 50 to me. So, so he, and he start going down the line. In my head, I just want to get my commissary and get back to the house. It was one of them days where so much shit was happening, I just want to break from this shit. All this maximum Morellius level shit. <laughs> and the shit used to get tiring, for real. You can't get on the phones, we on lockdown. Your, it's your daughter's birthday or some shit, not that I had a kid, but shit like that be happening. 
And every time that happened, niggas be like, I hate these niggas. Because niggas be so crazy. Yeah, so Pac-Man. The nigga Pac-Man, he going down the line. And niggas is putting two, three cakes. He like, yo, you got a big bag, man. Put two more. Boom, boom, right? He ain't playing with niggas. He hit niggas according to their bag size and all that. You feel me? His shit getting heavy quick. So, make a long story short. Pac Man's going to each person. Some niggas resist. I ain't gonna tell you all 25. Gay that nigga, they shit. But I. Did you get it? Did you get it? I knew you was going to be. I heard you laughing. That's a great question. I ain't even mad at you. Look. Yo, look. This is something I'm going to say that God blessed me with, right? Not that I would have gave that nigga a motherfucking thing. In my mind, honestly, this is how you going to know I'm a real nigga. I'm praying that he don't even bring that shit around me. <laughs> Right, because I, I know I would've went crazy because I don't even know what I'ma do if he come to me. So you know, that's one of them situations where you might scream and bite a nigga face off, right? You know how a nigga have the audacity to bring some shit to you and you savagely go at him? I think I'd've did some dumb shit like that. Might've bit that nigga in the face or some shit if he would've did. Because I was never on, that shit was, I was tired of seeing a lot of the shit. I wasn't, I'm not gonna say I wasn't built for that shit because obviously I was. I wasn't, it wasn't meant for me to be able to adjust with savages. I think that was some shit that was forced into my nature. That wasn't my nature. I was an innocent, loving, caring child. I still care. I just said that shit a couple of times. But all of the trifling shit that's happening in them joints, you know, that shit bring a whole nother level of shit out of a nigga because you ain't got no choice. So son ain't come your way? He ain't even know Nah, you. he came, but he looked at me. We we looked at each other. I looked, I just, I know. See, my face, I, don't, I told you, I'm not the guy that niggas be like, go in the bathroom. They don't do that to me. They see guns in my face for some reason. A nigga know I'm going to shoot you or kill you. I'm, I don't know. Somehow, dudes just be knowing that shit with me a bit. And I'm not toot my own horn, but that's what I think. And it got to be true because I get along with all the killers too, too easy. It's just be the suckers that try me. The niggas that fake and acting like they that and don't really be that, but look like it. Those the niggas that I don't get along with. But the nigga Pac-Man looked at me. I looked at that nigga. He seen that shit in my face. That nigga kept it pushing. So obviously he respected my shit. And I respected that he respected my shit. Cause to be real with you, I didn't wanna, you know, I would compare that nigga to a dog with rabies. Right? This is what I was looking at. This is how I digested his savagery. You know, I'm looking like, look at this nigga. He might bite a nigga and a nigga might catch something like type shit. Not that he was dirty or nothing, but you could tell he was ready to get all types of dirty. And I seen it. I'm going to give you an example of what type of dirty nigga this nigga is. One of the niggas didn't get a shit up. He went to work on him instantly. But his work was so savage. You ever seen a savage ass whipping where a nigga pull his shirt over his head, he pull his drawers in his butt, he done flipped them, kicked them in his mouth, all types of fly shit. He done grabbed his balls, got the nigga saying, hey, shit like that. And I'm looking, that's how them far Rockaway niggas fight. They perform on the niggas. They make a buffoon out of you. I noticed that because all of the niggas I seen from Far Rock Away pluck a nigga. The nigga they pluck looked at very stupid. So you got to kill them niggas. You can't even you can't even play around with them at all. But you know where we left off at.
Pac-Man commissary. Oh, Pac-Man commissary. That was his shit, but he basically, honestly, he robbed about damn near the whole house, except like the last three niggas behind me type shit. All that shit stopped, honestly. I swear to my mother, drop dead. That shit stopped with me and I don't I, I don't know I can't say I know why but honestly I believe he just seen in my face I'm not the guy you take something from and I don't think I am him at all knowing myself then and later in life I took shit from people people ain't never take shit from me you feel me but I always been a decent guy I never had even when I was doing bad shit I always had decent shit about me you know what I mean but Pac-Man is a vicious nigga too. Another legendary Far Rockaway nigga. Another legendary Far Rocker nigga. Nigga is Wayne W. Uh, Marlin. They call Marlin Bam Bam. Them niggas uh, double. I seen W work. We all was in the same house. They called the back of the house. Yeah. Trump Plaza and niggas used to lay in their beds and pick fights for niggas and they the picks used to be terrible. They would get a short nigga like me and they'll put me against some six foot nigga. And I had to do it or that depended on how much niggas respect you because you didn't want to say no because no matter who they pick, they could have picked Goliath. You you was going in there because because your respect was on the line for real. Niggas was like, and nobody never turned down nothing. I never, every night niggas used to freestyle and just be like, say you was over there. I'd be like, yo lies, big man look like here, give you the business. So it's your turn to act up. You gotta get up and say, what? I fuck big man up. Take your big dumb ass in the back or some shit. Then niggas will be like, oh, let's see what Laz gonna do. After you pluck him, you might be like, I respect this shit, but y'all niggas see he can't fuck with me. But look, I never told you how I beat the nigga Deuce ass. We got away from how I caught Deuce. I never told you that. So when they moved me from four main, they sent me to Mart 8, I told y'all. Unfortunately for Deuce, somewhere down the line, Deuce did something. And you know, I told you they sent Shawells to Mart 8. So I guess that just was the best house that was tough enough for the four main niggas. Mart 8, four main, it sounds like the, the next place they'll send you. Like if you and a the cat, they're not gonna send you to, they're gonna send you to Clinton. Or, or one of them joints that's of that magnitude. So the nigga Deuce, this how much trouble making niggas was. I don't even know how the niggas in Mart 8 knew that Deuce was one of the dudes that jumped me. I didn't even see him yet. These niggas is troublemakers so much, my nigga, this shit was sickening. Them niggas was so much troublemakers, he didn't even get to come in the house and everybody's talking about, ooh, ooh, the nigga that jumped Mac is at the door. They know before me. So I go to the door, I'm like, they can't be serious. More bullshit. I'm sick of this shit. All of this, all of these savage tests I'm going through. So I go to the door, sure enough, the wavy head nigga Deuce is at the door. And he, I think he had a gold frame tooth, one tooth. Look, exact. I never forget this nigga because I plucked him well. I know some because the nigga Waves was out of control. Yeah, he his shit like, is out of control. Different. He's you, a Spanish nigga. Yeah, and his, his shit is dumb. Was I was like, what the? I seen that nigga on the floor one day. I was like, what the fuck? I ain't one of them Spanish niggas that he ain't quite black. It's kind of brownish too. Yeah, his shit, his shit is serious. I, yeah, because I, I remember his shits too. So now I remember his shits well because I cracked him over them shits. Look. <laughs> so the nigga, look. So the nigga, the nigga do. So now they ooing, right? So I'm like, I'm mad that these niggas just put me on the spotlight. So I'm like, so I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm telling them niggas to shut the fuck up. Because they gonna wake him up and make my fight harder. I don't want this nigga ready for me. If he walk in and they talk about ooh, ooh, ooh he gonna get on point and look for ooh. And I, and I don't wanna be ooh. I wanna get this nigga good. So, you know, and plus I'm from Harlem. I learned from them old niggas. 
You don't just shoot a nigga. That's not Im impressive. It's impressive when you wrap that nigga up like a Christmas gift and sit him under a tree. You know, like Green is, I seen niggas knock niggas out and sit him somewhere. So you would think a nigga sitting down, but he'll be knocked out or some shit. You feel, I know you seen that. That's the level of savagery we talk about. So Deuce <clears throat> come in and I tell them niggas to shut up. So everybody shut up. I'm like, shut the fuck up. If y'all ain't gonna help me, shut the fuck up. Why y'all making it harder for me if y'all want to see what I'm going to do? But I got to get busy. Ain't nobody's above the call out. All call outs is mandatory, right? I don't care if a nigga match you with your brother, you got to pluck to show that you the dominant. They on some ape shit in Marte. That's what gorillas do. So the nigga, uh, I want to lose myself. So Deuce again, Deuce come in the house. So now why? It was me in the house, Little Head Mojo, and a couple of other niggas that I'm not gonna name, right? So while we in the house and shit, with the nigga Deuce, I grab a broom and I put a punk face on cause I wanna look like I'm house game. So I, I decided to take a, you know, I executed a plan to execute this nigga, right? So I get the big boom, the janitor shit I was talking about earlier. I always knew that that janitor shit, if, you, if a nigga got a knife, that allows you to be six feet on some corona shit and still pluck a nigga out, you feel me? With that long broom. I seen niggas successfully go gun to gun with a nigga with them brooms. So I always knew that that broom was a mean thing so I get the broom and I put the pussiest face I could think of on and I'm pushing the broom because most of the house gang niggas be the niggas that's pussy in the house so I want him to think I'm pussy so he can give me a chance to crack his fucking head open right so when he come in that nigga come in he see me with the broom he he, he feeds into the pussy image he look at me, he put the super tough shit on on me. He said, what up? So I go to him, cause I could tell he's calling me out with the what up he gave me was really tough. So I go to him. I'm like, what's up? I'm like, yo man, I put the pussy voice on and everything. I said, yo, uh, all that shit that happened in Four Main, man, that was Four Main, man. You know, I don't want no problems in down here. Don't nobody know what happened. You know, let's just, he said, you sure? <laughs> he got tougher. I said, yeah, man, I'm sure I don't want no problems. He said, all right, man. And he walked off, right? So he walking around. He looked really tough. I believed he was tough at this point, too. I'm like, man, he kind of tough, right? And he might have been. He just wasn't tough enough. So the nigga, the nigga, uh, he gets in the house, and I guess... He was a young nigga like me too. He wasn't above the drama in there. Uh, he had to be scared at some point too. Cause he was trying to, he was trying to blend in. You know, start talking to people. You know what the niggas do. You can tell what type of niggas is. Everybody's scared coming in that door, nigga. I'm here to educate everybody. But please believe it. Or only nigga ain't scared is the nigga that been on 80 transfers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be there more than the streets. Yeah, all new niggas is scared. Not all no, I, uh, let's say afraid. Scared is a pussy word. Afraid is when you feel like, oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna do my thing. Scared is when you like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, let me lay down and let them kill me. You know, that's the nigga that does nothing but just get consumed by the problem. But, uh, to make a long story short, Deuce get in there. And that was the year that the Black Tail Mag Pussy Book magazine came out. That was the first porn magazine was Black Tail. So he was sitting on the bed with Mojo. It's funny because Mojo home, I love you, boy. I know he going to see this shit. He probably don't even know or remember that I did this shit. But he's going to remember now because I plucked that nigga all between Mojo bed, right? So the nigga sitting on him and the Black Tail book was Mojo book, right? So Mojo, 
Cause Mojo was the first nigga with that I put that, I seen a black tail pussy book from him first. So he he letting the nigga see it. The nigga done worked his way over to Mojo. So you know how that shit is set up? Uh bad locker, bad locker, bad locker in the dorms. He facing Mojo. Mo Mojo sitting on his bed, he's sitting on this bed, and they facing each other. And behind them is a space of locker and in, in, in the bed. So I waited till he got, I'm still sweeping. His dumb ass ain't even noticed that after sweeping for 30 minutes, something ain't right. I was at the boom for an hour. So you were stupid at that point. So I managed to work my way next to him and Mojo with the pussy book. I waited till he got to a good page. It was the page where where the, the girl legs be open on both pages and her pussy be in the middle. So it be the whole opening be her. When he got to that, he said, oh shit, this one right here, look at it, damn it, wow. <laughs> he let me say, I put the broom down, the dumb nigga, like he was sitting. He let me get right beside him and lean down and say, let me see, like I was reaching for the book. I Super Mario uppercutted this nigga, his head went to the moon. Not only did this shit go to the moon when I caught him, Boom! But I did the old dirty Brownsville shit to him. Yeah, I got Brownsville in me too. I grew up up the block from you. You don't even know it. I lived there before Harlem. That's crazy. Look, so now while he's flipping, I didn't even let him touch the floor yet. I'm coming with you. You're not going peacefully. It's not boom. No, it's boom. boom. So I came and I stomped him while he was going down. I made sure his head ricocheted off the shit and I'm a, I was skillful with it I didn't just stomp him on some vicious I don't know what I'm doing I would wait for him to lift his head a little bit because I wanted the banging sensation I wanted that impact that book it out I wanted this shit to have space to rock so I kicked him about five times when he got up a tooth was missing out his mouth, both of his eyes was black, and he was dizzy. He was rocking side to side. I was like, now, nigga, you want to fight now? He was like, no. <laughs> like, he said, no. I said, you sure? You wanted to fight. You want? Let's go fight. You want? I'm asking him, do we want to fight now that he's dizzy? So the nigga's like, no, nah, I don't want no beef. So he ate that shit. He tried to get me stabbed, but his co-defender was an adult. So he was in the adolescence, but he had an adult co-defendant. And well to my mother, I gotta say this because I wanna get this nigga his props. He, he died. A nigga I grew up with, my nigga Niccolo. You know what I'm saying? Big Russ and them with the barbershops, they brother. You know what I'm saying? I love that nigga to death. Because I was online, you know, a dumbass, young, wild. What I mean by wild was carefree ass nigga. I'm running my mouth for some shit. And some Spanish older nigga was coming off the line with a bone crusher. And he was cutting right behind me. I wasn't paying no attention. And I heard my man Niccolo say, hey, John. And you know, he called me by my name. You know, that's how much I know him. He said, hey, John. I turned around. He said, yo, man, what the fuck you doing? He said, that's for him? And the nigga was like, yeah, man, he knocked my co defender teeth out. He got two black eyes, man. He only 16. He like, he's 16 too. Fuck is you talking about? He like, yo, I beat your fucking ass. Niccolo must have been, I could tell, for Niccolo to be, Niccolo ain't have a knife. The nigga that he was screaming on had a knife. So that told me that Niccolo was, was one of them niggas. He was one of the guys like them Chicago niggas be calling, you feel me? He obviously was a super savage because the nigga that's trying to stab me is letting him mush them all in his face and he got a knife in his hand. I grew up with Niccolo. So Niccolo was like, watch your fucking back, man. Don't turn your fucking back out here. Ba 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 You need anything? What's going on? He like, your niggas, y'all want beef? And now dude was like, nah, 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 no. Well, I'ma tell him where he at. He was gonna tell him, yo, he got him. He said, yo, don't, don't, don't leave that alone. He ain't want none of that Niccolo sauce on his ass. He was like, he ain't gonna spill none of that on me. But uh, that was the crazy shit right there, man. But the whole moral of that is them far Rockaway niggas, Shawells, uh, 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 
Shawells, W, motherfucking Marlin. Uh, they call Marlin Bam Bam. Kurt, Kurt really wasn't no, he wasn't like them niggas. Kurt was a good dude. And I met his son later on in life. But he was, the mother niggas was vicious. But he was a co-defendant of them niggas. And what them niggas here kill anybody, that's why they was in there. They was in there because of some, some older niggas from Far Rockaway took them to Ohio trying to pimp the little tough niggas, you know how they do? But them tough niggas spanked them, took all the work, and took a cab from Ohio all the way back here. That's how they got caught. That's how these niggas that I'm telling you about got caught. But all of them niggas, Bezo from motherfucking Far Rockaway, all of them niggas love... Uh, he from the jungle. He used to always rap that shit. I'm from the jungle. That nigga, he, he was, uh, and my son Reg. Reg was from Hamels or Edgemere. Them niggas was responsible for knocking niggas. They hand games was worse than the old school Brownsville niggas. I'm not even lying to you. You said they was, they was, they was smashing niggas that was trying to say, Queens? They was crushing all that queen shit stopped when them niggas, I don't even think they were smashing niggas. I, they was, they had to be. I think they flipped like two niggas in that stop. But they savagely whipped a nigga for that. For Not saying no, that? Yeah, they don't play. They, they on some, yo, what the fuck is, mm, on some boxing shit. Mm, yo, on some professional level and sit you down. Look, I'm going to tell you one story, right? Shawells did this to Dao from Queens. Sorry, Dao. I'm just telling the truth, man, and this shit is too amazing to keep in the stash. <laughs> My philosophy is it happened. If it happened, it happened. Happened means once, get over it. And now I'ma help you. Look, he was a kid like me, and I cared for anybody that was young like me because I knew we didn't belong in this shit. Go with these grown savages. That shit don't make no sense. Put little boys with little boys, bro. That's what fucked us up. That's what made us go from fighting to shooting. The older niggas is shooting. This is an uh, example of one of the things that I seen Shawells do to a nigga. He robbed Wu-Wai for his chain. Shawell robbed everybody. Who was another nigga in the house that happened to have a chain. Shawell took that. Come here, let me get that. Get that shit off. Tawel, you know. <laughs> and he's going on your neck. He's the guy unfastening the shit. You know how you see little baby meets 42 Doug at Icebox? And they be trying to change on and the jeweler help put him on his neck? He was the jeweler on the island. Because I seen him do that to mad niggas that move behind the neck. He do that. I don't know if I could have took that. You got to have a gun to do that to me. There's no guns on the island. And he told my man when he knocked him out, I don't use razors. So this is all hand play. Look, he will, but he going to offer you the services first. If you take, and he offers. I seen him go to niggas and be like, nigga, either take them shits off or put, <laughs> or put your shits up. Go to the back, fight for him or get him shits up. And a lot of niggas, I seen a kid, I'm gonna get this kid his props, cause he was young like me. And that nigga fought, Sha Wells. His name was Gotti, and he was from Webster Projects. I never seen this little nigga again, but he was a dot. One of my man's name is Gotti, and he from Webster. But no, Gotti, I'm not talking about you. And anybody listening, I'm not talking about that Gotti that eventually had a jag. I'm talking, I never seen this little nigga nowhere else other than him having a fight with Sha Wells. But his name was Gotti, because the, 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 look, how I know his name? My light skin. No, this nigga's, no, I love him. He was Black Mafia. He's from our time. That green and all of that shit. I know he got to get busy too. June was with me. His name is June. What, he, what I remember him for on the island, he was a little nigga like me because it wasn't a lot of little niggas. It was another little nigga named Shorty Black. I remember all the niggas because it was like five of us spread it out. And we ain't had no business in no place like that. So the nigga, uh, what I was, where I was, you was at? Saying the Gotti fought Shawells. 
Yeah, Gotti. So the Gotti, dark skin Gotti nigga from Webster, uh, he had Bo Jacksons. They wasn't playing for those. Niggas, you see those so on sight. I'm going to kill you for them shits. They was robbing you. You know how? Look, it was so. My nigga, it was so serious. You know how the houses pass each other going and coming from child? Niggas just taking shit in the hallway. In the hallway, I swear to God. Throw them shits over here. Get that nigga your sneakers. They'll tell the punk nigga in the house to switch sneakers with you. And when they get there, they'll they, they take the shits from the punk and give them some Air Jesus, the sandals or whatever. Right? Now, uh, where was I last? Gotti fighting Shabbat. So the nigga Gotti, he had the Bo Jacksons. He had the white, blue, and orange joints, the classics. So they just came out. Niggas was going ham. He seen them. He said, yo. He tapped that little nigga while he was asleep. He said, shorty, man, get them sneakers about your locker, bro. He said, either you could give them here, you could fight me for them. He said, if you want to go get a gun, I'll provide you with a gun. We could go gun to gun, whatever you want to do. Man, what you want to do? <laughs> so the Gotti nigga was like, what? Shorty was live. He ain't miss a beat. That nigga, no slope, what? Looking kind of strong. I said, damn, let me see this little nigga. Watch this. And you know I'm a real nigga because I'm going to get this nigga his flowers for being who I wasn't. 